What is up everybody? I am back playing even more Pokemon Summit Trials. I'm in kind of this tile hell room here now where all these tiles are freaking moving me around left and right and I keep on warping back to the start like that. But I also believe I'm making pretty good progress. I'm hitting all the switches that I need to be hitting and uh, yeah, look at that. I'm a little bit further along now. I need to hit that new switch so I guess I gotta fight her. I'm more than just good looks, you know. Alright, well, I guess in that case, let's have a battle, and you can prove to me uh, if you're a good battler or something. Debra, who is Abstrika? Hmm. That Pokemon is perfect for me to kick in the face. Thank you for throwing out this perfect match made in heaven. Now I'm going to kick you. Uh-oh. That's going to do a lot of damage. If I miss this high jump kick, I'm screwed. No! <laughs> Man, I was at like 24 for 24. Ah, now I have a miss. Well, at least they're thrashing, which means uh, it's a normal type move that I can then avoid. God, I love Bloon. I love being able to swap into somebody who just completely invalidates them. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, what the heck? I thought you were stuck in Thrash. Are you telling me that if Thrash is... If Thrash misses, that you can just do whatever you want afterwards? That is kind of bullshit. I was expecting them to be stuck thrashing and then become confused. Now I'm the one who's confused. What's the freaking deal with that? All right, well, they're going to use an electric type move again. So I guess I'll send in Celebi to resist it. This Zeb Strika is kind of being a pain in my ass. Man, this is a bummer, man. First, I miss, I, I miss a high jump kick the first time in my entire playthrough. Now I'm getting now I'm getting uh, bait and switched by a thrashing Zeb Striker. It's just like, damn, can a guy catch a break? Shit. All right. Well, at least I'm willing to bet Selby's fat. Oh, never mind. Selby is not faster. Dude, Zeb Striker is pretty good. They're lucky I don't have friggin' Earthquake. On the flip side, though, like I should probably put Earthquake on a Ground type person. I almost feel like I need to replace um, Hardhead. If I had a ground steel like an Excadrill, that might complement my, uh, my team better. Furret, yes. All right, Fufu, please be faster than Furret. Furret could do some quick attack bullshit, but I'm gonna guess that Furret's gonna go for like Slash. That's gonna be my guess. All right, please be faster. Yes. Yes, sir. Free health, da. Oh, and it's a one shot too. And there you go. I don't need to use a hyper potion on Fufu anymore. Fufu is a uh, Fufu is its own self-sustaining economy. What a beast! What an absolute beast you are, Fufu. God damn, I love you. Yikes, you're tough. Yes, I am, Deborah. But your Zeb Striker was tough as well. That battle was hard fought. And you know what? I appreciate that. I appreciate that these trainers are a little bit more difficult here as we're getting further along in this playthrough. Although my Pokemon are almost level 80, at least Navy is. I got an 80 Navy, god dang. And Fufu's getting up there too. I guess that's kind of cool about this game. Like, I've been playing for a while and my Pokemon are leveling up insanely fast because I'm battling a lot. But the difficulty is still like kind of normalized in a sense. Oh, here we go. Punching people as they slide by on moving platforms is a blast. <laughs> Are you telling me that there's people who are just trying to solve this puzzle and you're over there smacking them in the back of the head as they slide by you? Francine, that is just mean. I should call you Mean Francine, the queen of mean. Now, if I was this Toxicroak, I would use a poison type move. And um, that sucks because I really want to switch into Celebi and get a quad psychic on him. However, I don't want Celebi to get hit by a poison type move. Okay, uh, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Uh, another bullshit crit in the books. Well, GG's Toxicroak. You never stood a chance from the get-go because I was destined to land that crit, I guess. Hmm, Infernape, what will I do for you? See, Infernape gets friggin' hard countered by uh, Pelipper or Gullwing. However, this will be an interesting matchup. If it uses close combat, that'll be super effective against Navy. But if I use Surf, That'll be super effective against him. So if a uh, oh, oh boy, yeah, Navy could die here, or it could go for a fire type move, which would just be neutral damage. 
That was a stupid decision, though. That was an immensely stupid decision, and you'll be punished dearly for that. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. That fire spin animation? That looked fantastic. That was like three little orange lines. Okay. Hell yeah, that looked really good. Let's see, do I get to see it again? Okay, let's keep our eyes on Navy. I want to see that fire spin animation. Alright, do it. Do it. Oh, we're not doing it. Oh, whatever, I'll switch. I will switch to Balloon. See, I do not believe that this guy, this girder right here, I don't believe that he can hurt me. I just don't believe it. I don't see it. I don't have faith. I'm gonna fly on up, and you're gonna do nothing. You're gonna do jack shit, girder. Look at you. Oh, shit, he's got Stone Edge. Okay, Um, I believe now. Uh, now, I really hope he dies here. Ah. Ooh, he's gonna stone edge me. Ooh, that's gonna hurt real bad. Ooh, ah, yikes. Ha, <laughs> uh, ha, Big oof. I will pay back you now, and you will die, and then I'll move about, uh, move about my business as usual, right? Oh, okay. I should have just done fly. What the hell? Yeah, I, I, I absolutely deserve that. One hundred percent. Okay, I overested um, my damage and or I underestimated his defense stat. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna use Celebi to deal with girders now on, from now on, cause Psychic, that'll be doing great. That'll be doing great. You're done, right? Yeah, you're done. Uh, good day, sir. I said good day, sir. Now move on, baby. What else do you want to throw my way? What will we see today? Ooh, look at all that. A Metacham. Will I switch? Do I want to switch? Do I want to switch? I could use Aerial Ace. Mm -hmm. Man, it's a bummer that somebody who's psychic and fighting isn't good. I mean, I don't associate Metacham with being strong. I mean, I'm certain that Metacham could find success on some teams. However, I don't know, like... If Metacham had like Zen Headbutt and Aura Sphere and was like a cool special attacker slash physical, I don't know, like, what does Metacham do well? I mean, he's faster than me now, but I don't know, like, Psychic and Fighting is such a cool typing, but I think Metacham just kind of looks lame and, ah, uh, I don't know, I'd like to see another Psychic Fighting, maybe something that had like three stages, I don't know, I'm into Pokemon fan games, I made this game, it's not impossible for me to make, my, make and design my own Pokemon and just put them into a game. I would like to see a really cool psychic fighting. I've been blasted! Yes, you have. Fine, I'll stop punching people as they slide by. Or you could, I mean, that sounds kind of funny. Okay, um, speaking of funny... It was fun... Until... My balloon died. Now it's not funny anymore. No, it's still pretty funny. I'm sorry, balloon. I don't even know where I was going with that sense. I was trying to form like a, like a coherent thought, and then I failed to do so. So now I'm just kind of sitting here like, whatever, I'm just going to heal my dudes and continue moving on. It's like, whatever, you know? Okay. Let's just save Aroni once more. And then... Progress on further into the cave! So the only way that I can go here... Oh wait, no, here we go! Yeah, there it is! And it connects all the way back here, yeah! Ooh, I want that TM really badly. Actually, I think I have to go that way anyway. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so, as annoying as it is that there's all these tiles and stuff, you gotta admit, this is kind of fun. I like, I, this is a cool puzzle room. I, I dig it. Check this out. If I go up, then I have to fight that guy, but I don't have to fight him. Like, if I wanted to, I, I didn't have to go up there. I'm camping in this cozy mountain. This is my spot. All right, can't we share it? Like, why you gotta be so selfish about this mountain that you don't own? Like, you get to just lay claim to the ground that's here, Phil? Oh, a Sceptile, huh? A 69 Sceptile, too. Hmm. The level grants him power. I must Aerial Ace him quick. Uh-oh. That's actually gonna hurt pretty bad, I'm thinking. Up, 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 oh! Owie. Now take this, you shit bitch. Hmm. Okay, I'm predicting another Energy Ball. And I think... Darunia will be the choice. 
that will grant me the highest success rate. I was thinking of switching into Balloon because he would also resist Energy Ball. Oh, Balloon would have resisted Slam too. I mean, not resist it. He would have just outright never been hit by it. Am I faster? No, he's faster. Ha! <laughs> Go for a Giga Drain, really? Really now? Wow! Ambitious and pretty good damage, especially for not being very effective. You know what? This Sceptile is quite respectable. Damn, I like Sceptile's design. I, In particular, I really like the bits of red around the eyes, around the mouth, and around the waist there. Like, the splashes of red that kind of break up the colors in the design. It's pretty nice. It's a good looking Mon right there. Mm hmm. Alright, what else do you got, buddy? A Scyther. I'm not switching. I will not switch for this. I'm willing to bet he's faster, though. Yep. Oh, but he goes for stands like a fool. You stupid idiot, don't you understand that you're in a very bad position where you need to get off as much damage as possible before you get one-shotted? Well, if you didn't understand before, hopefully you understand now, at least. I mean, it's a little bit too late. Your comprehension uh, right now has been a little bit slow, but whatever. No, my spot! I mean, you're still standing there. It's still your spot. We could share the spot. Oh, thank you, buddy. Charge Beam. That's not bad. If I wanted to teach a strong electric type move to somebody, that would be a good one to do. What was it? 57? Here we go. And it has a chance to raise the user's special attack? That's pretty good. Can anybody learn that? Celebi could learn it. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And Bloon could learn it too. Oh. This could actually be pretty good, so I could have better counters to water. I think I'm going to replace Self-Destruct with Charge Beam. I mean, or Explosion. I mean, it was fun to use it for the YOLO, but now... Ah, it's 50-90, though. Only 50. Ah, screw it. Whatever. I'll do it. And I think I'm going to keep Ancient Power on Celebi. Celebi doesn't really need to learn an electric move, because Celebi already has Grass and Rock to cover water and flying, correspondingly, you know. So... I mean, my team's doing pretty good, all things considered. I got a nice little charge beam onto my boys. You know, they're doing pretty good. There we go. And I don't think I need to heal Fufu, because Fufu can heal herself. Now, let's take a look at that arrow. I need to do this. I need to hit and then go. There we are. So now it's going upwards. So... I can do this. Yeah! Oh, double battle time. Aha! I'm the one who made these puzzles. What do you think? I think you're a bastard who must be stopped. I don't design the puzzles. I just wire them together. Uh-oh, they're an engine. He's an engineer. Uh-oh. These two together made these puzzles. You madmen. Cameron and Bert. Hey, Cameron. Scientist Cameron with a Tyranitar. That actually re that that really is me. He's the madman who put these puzzles together. He designed them. That prick. I'm going to have to teach him a lesson. Ow. My eyes. I didn't say, <laughs> I didn't say out for any other reason other than my eyes. Okay. I think this ought to be a good turn here. Psychic onto the Electrode should do very respectable damage. And I'm thinking Drain Punch on the... Oh, that's very respectable. Oh, it's a crit. That's why. And I'm thinking Drain Punch on the Tyranitar. It's going to be a one-shot. Give me all that lovely health back. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yum, 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 yum. I eat that health for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize I put myself in the game as a, an NPC there, flaunting about how he made the puzzles. I think that's kind of charming. It's kind of funny, but I mean, of course I would think that, right? Like, what am I supposed to think? Mirror coat. Wait, what? Oh, no! Oh! Well, rest in peace, Celebi. I did not realize Electrode had ever had a chance to know that. That's so weird. Friggin' mirror coat, dude? Really? Gonna mirror coat my Celebi like that? Skarmory. Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, at least I got a Darunia. He should be able to uh, answer this. Skarmory's kind of cool. God dang, though, I wish Skarmory had a pre-evolution. This is going to be a long battle, I'm just realizing. I will Drain Punch you to kill him. And then I will Fire Punch uh, you. There we are. Uh-oh. Actually, no, that's going to do, like, no damage. <laughs> what are you thinking? You're not thinking is the problem. Jesus. zoo crit. Wow. I didn't really need it. Didn't really even want it. You know, if, I, if I'm if i gonna reserve my critical hit luck, if you will, I mean, I'd reserve it for a Pokemon who has a little bit more health, you know, maybe get a one-shot on a Toxicroak, you know? <laughs> Ain't that a callback. Hey oh, high five. Alright. Skarmory, you're done, right? Yeah. 
I really like Skarmory's name, too. It's pretty cool. It's like a Sky Armory. He's, you know, I mean, I like clever stuff, you know? That's a little clever. I, know, I, get, I get pat that one on the back there. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Oh, boy. Friggin' Sandstorm, dude. That's pretty derude of him. Okay, and this is actually very, very doable once again. I'm gonna Drain Punch the Magnemite, or Magneton, and I guess F it, I'll just... Hmm. You know what? Super F it. I'm gonna Flare Blitz, flare blitz the Machoke. Wow! Why are words, like, struggling to come out for me today? I'm going blah, 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 blah. Whoa. Oh, he has Sturdy. No. Oh, I dislike Sturdy. I could have done Fire Punch then on the Magneton to kind of, like, do a double up thing. However, I'm very much down to just one-shot this guy. One-shot that boy. Yeah. God dang, Flare Blitz is good. I'm going to take Hella Recoil, though. Yeah. Yikes. Big yikes. Okay. I really wish that Sandstorm would just disappear, though. It's, like, starting to hurt my eyes. Let's go, team. Zap Cannon. Oh, and he missed. Ooh, maybe try not sucking, Cameron, dude. This guy sucks. This guy's a terrible trainer. <laughs> All right. Dawn fan. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. What am I going to do with you? I am going to go for a big YOLO here. High jump kick the Dawn fan. And I guess I'll just friggin' fire punch the Magneton. All right, here we go. Big YOLO! And it works. The big YOLO works. Let's go. Oh, what? Oh, that was a crit! What? Dawn fan knows Sturdy. Or has Sturdy? I never knew that. I have never seen a Dawn fan with Sturdy before. What? I forget about Dawn fan's existence. I mean, I know it was in that first Pokemon movie and all, and that was cool, but like... I mean, who, who's really out here with Dawn fan? Uh-oh. I've been charmed! No. Now my attack has harshly fallen. Like, that matters, though. Ah oh, man, I was about to say, and he's gonna get buffeted, but no, he's he's ground, so it's not gonna happen. Well, GG's. As we can see here on display today, the team of Darunia and uh, Fufu, they are um, unstoppable, they kick ass, and they will be respected, and uh, no shitty scientist and or engineer can put a stop to their reign of terror. That's what we've seen today on display. No, my machinations are unfolding! Yes. Wow, my circuits are fried! Aha! That was really charming, though. I kind of like that. Now, what happens here? What did that do? You truly are a peculiar specimen. You cracked the code! Aw, oh, that guy's totally blocking my items, though. Don't be blocking my items, bro. Yeah, give me that nugget. Yeah! I'm gonna sell that for a pretty penny. Um, I need to heal up my guys, though. Ooh, especially Celebi. I don't think I need to heal Fufu, though. Fufu's doing fine. All right, Celebi, let's revive you. And then I'll just, uh, I'll throw two super potions at you. That ought to be enough, right? I am running out of super potions, though. At least I have a ton of hyper potions. Ooh, do I have any regular potions? I do. Okay, perfect. It's 20 away. I might as well go for it. I really like it when the math lines up perfectly like that. How can I resist? How can I say no to a perfect heal? I like that very much. All right. I think I'm at the end of Mount Trueno now here. Oh, or am I? There's a little bit more, I guess. Wow. So my favorite things, movement tiles and bridges. Oh boy. So something like this. Ah, there we go. And it flips them. Okay. Does it flip all of them in the room though? That's interesting. I'm seeing multiple flips over here. Whoop, and then whoop, and then whoop. Ooh, what's that down there? The little green crystal? I want that. <laughs> I want that. Okay, so I guess I'm going this way now. Is there an item in this rock? No. Oh. And then what's this? Just going back to the beginning? Dang. Okay, so I gotta go this way. Yeah. Hit the switch, and then I can progress. Yeah. It's gonna be that easy, baby. Wait. Oh, Roy, what the? Hey there, Kimu. How about those electric puzzles, eh? I'm pretty sure I got shocked by one of those stupid electrical gates. I'm just glad I reached the end of the mountain. He's like standing on my head right now. <laughs> Which reminds me. 
I'm challenging you to a final battle. The top floor of this mountain is the perfect place for our last showdown. This time, I won't lose. Oh god, Roy. Alright, if you want to have a real battle, then a real battle you shall have, Roy. You want to go? Oh, a Rampardos. Perfect, actually. Perfect. Hmm. As I take a sip of my coffee, hmm. A full heal for my boy Fufu. You're gonna get drain punched to shit, you asshole. I'll suck on that. Ooh, and he doesn't have sturdy. I'm just afraid of like everybody having sturdy nowadays. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm pretty sure every single Pokemon ever uh, just has sturdy now. That's what's going on here. Ooh, good experience. I like this song a lot, but I feel like it needs to be louder. And it really, I really wish it was looping. Ooh, a Primeape. I am not afraid of you, Primeape. I'm gonna send in Celebi here. You're gonna get Psychic Blasted in the ass, okay? A little blast in the ass, if you will. An ass blast. Hmm, see. He's two levels higher. Almost one level higher. I'm pretty close to that level up. And, ooh. Damn. Final Gambit. No! No! Celebi, no! No! Oh, what the hell is that move? Oh. Wait, does that just do damage based on how much health he has? That did, like, nothing. Did he only have, like, six health left? Huh. Ooh, this will be interesting. I'm actually gonna... I'm, I'm going risky here, and I'm keeping Celebi in. One shot him, please. Please. I'm pretty sure Blaziken has low special defense. Oh, not low enough, though. Oh, now I get set on fire. Oh. Although, Blaziken has low special attack, right? Blaziken's fighting. Oh, but it's still a one-shot. Ah, jeepers. Okay, Roy. Do, 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 do. This song is so good. It's my jam. Okay. Now let's put an end to this Blaziken's Reign of Terror by surfing on him. Yep. God damn. I can't believe Navy's freaking level 80 now. I got an 80 Navy. Navy in the Navy, dude. 80 in the Navy. That gravy Navy. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Ooh, 68, let's go. That music being awkward, let's go. Play the song, <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> All right, Darunia. I have faith in the fact that you are faster and can get the one shot before Manectric attacks. I would really not like to see Manectric do jack shit this battle. So let's just flare blitz him and move on with our life. Thank you very much, Darunia. See, look, I trust you. And then you repay my trust with a bountiful harvest of enemy corpses. So thank you very much, Darunia, I respect that. I take that recoil, and I move on with my life. It doesn't matter. This victory is in the clutches of a... Oh, Hydreigon. Eee, good thing I got Navy, though. I like uh, was cringing there for a little bit. I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do? Oh, wait. I've got Ice Beam. That's right. He's Dark Dragon, but uh, I don't give a shit. I'm 11 levels higher, and I'm going to blast the crap out of you, dude. You're probably dead. You're probably dead. Oh, he lives! Oh, Jesus. What's he gonna do? Oh, God. Body slam. Ah, uh, that's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Please. You know what? YOLO, I got this priority. Oh, damn it. Ah, that sucks. Oh, this is an outrage that he's doing that to me right now. <gasps> oh, come on, buddy. That's lame as hell. Well, who's fast enough? I think Fufu is fast enough. I got a fast Fufu. Damn it, though. Ah, oh, that was in the bag until the paralysis hit. So, you know, that's some RNG bullshit right there. U-turn will actually kill him, right? Because Bug is super effective against Dark. And there you go. And there you have it. Don't make me switch. Just let, Let's just let the battle end. Let's just let the battle end. 262? What? Hydreigon gave me, like, no experience. Well, that seems like a bug. You can't be serious. Speaking of bug, I did use a bug-type move, and then I encountered a bug. Shoot! Uh, was Sierra really right? Are you really as great of a trainer as he made you out to be? Uh, no, I can't accept that. I'm just not trying hard enough. It's not that you're amazing, it's that I'm terrible. I just need to train and train and train and I tell I can't train anymore. I'll prove to everyone that I'm the best. Next time I see you, we're finally settling the score. I'm not gonna give up without beating you at least once. You better be ready, Camu. I'm out of here. Okay, well, I'll see you, Roy. I like Roy. I know he's meant to be a douchebag, but I kind of like him. Ooh, and we're at the summit now. My team is kind of beat up. 
thankfully, it'll be super fast for me to swing by the uh, healing checkpoint. Oh wait, was there not a fly point on that second one? Is that a bug? Can I only go to this top one? At least I can go to checkpoint two. Dang, can I not fly to checkpoint one then? Oh, that's a pretty bad bug. Who made this game? What the heck? Would somebody do that? Make a Pokemon game and just intentionally fill it with bugs? Who would do such a thing? Oh, that's right. I would. <laughs> oh, at least all these switches are already hit. So theoretically, it'll be a breeze for me to just shoot right back onto the end. Oh yeah, look at that. That's satisfying as hell. Ah, oh, the repel. You ruined my satisfaction there, repel. At least I can do this now. Woohoo! Oh yeah. So I could explore that gate that's down there to the right also. But I'm certain that inside is just going to be another legendary. And I don't know. I don't even know if I have the right mystery key. And I think I care more about reaching the summit than I do about that mystery key door. At least I'll care more later. So that's just there in, in the event that the blue is on. This is such a cool summit though, by the way. Look at this with all of the gates up on here. Wow. Hit that. Oh, and then the path to the summit leader is already here. Although, it seems like there's a little bit more puzzles to be had up here. Yeah. Mystery key one. Ooh. What's going on with mystery key one here? Let's check that key items real quick. Look at you. It's red. Okay. Oh. Pretty neat, right? Pretty neat. And then all those switches are there too, just in case. Wow. All right. I'm ready to face you, trial leader. I'm ready. What's his name? Who are you? Let's fight. He's pretty cool looking. He looks like Lieutenant Surge almost, but like a yellow Tetris block on his chest. Hey there, what's up? I'm glad somebody made it past all my electrical traps. It feels like I haven't had a challenger in forever. Huh, it looks like you've already made some progress on the summit trials. Well, in that case, you know what's coming up next. My name is Watt, and I'm one of the three trial leaders of the summit trials. The strength of my electric Pokemon will rock your world. Yeah, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby, groovy, baby. Austin Powers. Oh, cool, he's got a guitar. All right. I don't know why I'm acting surprised. I mean, I, I made the game. <laughs> Electivire. Ooh, God. Well, this will be an interesting battle. We're on top of this, like, green mountain in the rain. And he's got a bunch of electric types. I'm going to go for another high jump kick, though. Frigga YOLO. No! Oh! I was doing so well. Now I'm going to hell. Oh, shit. That's bad. That's actually really bad. I might need to use a max revive this battle. I was counting on Fufu not dying on the first turn, but hey, here we are. Now I'm on a timeline where High Jump Kick misses and Fufu dies on the first turn. Whatever, I got Flare Blitz though. I'm not gonna cry about it. No use crying over spilled milk. No use crying over missed Flare Blitzes. I mean, no, Flare Blitz hit <laughs> and it got a crit. No use crying over missed High Jump Kicks. That's what I mean to say. Honestly, I could probably Flare Blitz like half of his team. Or more. I think I can have I can flare blitz like four or five of them. Stunfisk. Yeah, I'll switch for that. I'll switch it out. I got navy on this one. And you might be asking yourself, why is he throwing out a water type into an electric type? Well, I've also got ice and he's also got ground. So if I ice beam the shit out of his ground side, he's probably gonna die in one hit. You know, I like that. Oh he doesn't die, what the heck? No. Thunderbolt. Oh god. That's not good. That's not good at all. However, I mean, still gonna work out for me. Uh, Ice Shard, right? Let me guess. Hyper Potion? Yep. It's only natural. Oh, dang. That didn't fully heal him, at least. At least, at least they're not packing full restores for these. Ooh. God, I love this song. This song is so friggin' jammin'. Oh, there's a full restore. There it is. That's fine. That's fine by me, dude. If you want to waste all of your heating, healing items on a Stunfisk, he's making such a dumb little smile right now. I love it. Aw, go back to the little smile. That little Stunfisk smile? Oh, there it was right before he died. He 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 crossed the into the afterlife with one final smile. That was beautiful. All right, what else do you got? A Jolteon. Hmm. I'm thinking, uh, I'm actually going to send in Celebi for this one. I'm going to try to conserve my Darunia Flare Blitzes. I can't blow them all instantly. I mean, I could, but I refuse to. I want to play, like, most of my team. I'm certain, oh, 
Ooh, what are you doing there? I, I Final Gambit and Last Resort are still an enigma to me. That did over half, right? Oh, come on, music. There we go. Why are you doing Last Resort, dude? Just do something else. Do Thunderbolt. Do Bite. Do you not know Bite? All right, maybe he now he's going to Last Resort, and now he can because he's at low health. Oh, it just failed all three times. What? What? What's the deal with that? What is the deal with that move and it not being useful? I, uh, I don't get it. Maybe I need to, like, just Google it, see what this move does. All right, what else do you got? A Galvantula. Yeah, I'm going to switch for that one. I actually think now is a good time for Hardhead to show his stuff. Rock, super effective against Bug. This guy's a bug. All I need to do is not get nuked uh, by Thunder, which is actually very likely. I'm probably going to get nuked by Thunder right now. Bug Buzz? Really? You're going to go for a bug move here. What? Okay, crit. There we go. That makes sense. I thought I thought he just did half of my health without a crit. A special defense falling. Oh, man. Hardhead is so boned. Hardhead, you're so screwed. Ooh. Big damage, though. Hell yeah, dude. If Hardhead survives this, this Galvantula has done so. I'm sure that Hardhead's dead right here, though. Yeah. Man, this is why Hardhead needs Stone Edge. Or just any any better move. Like, it's a bummer that my best move didn't do enough damage there. Alright, please be faster, Darunia. Ah! Ooh, perfect, actually. This is perfect. I don't really care that you're raising your speed, because I'm lowering your health. How's that? It's a nice little trade-off, isn't it? For me. Alright, you got two more Pokemon left, don't you, Watt? You only got two more deeds for me to blast on through. 275 attack. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. Keep him coming, baby. Although, this is actually very risky. If he has sturdy, I'm putting myself in a very bad position here. I'm going to fire punch instead of flare blitzing. Because I'm pretty sure he has sturdy. Oh, shit. That didn't even do enough. Okay. He's probably going to earthquake me here. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. That's bad, actually. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We're good. I will fire punch, and everything's going to be great. This is fantastic, actually. Awesome. I'm pretty certain I will survive a Flare Blitz. So, they throw out one more Pokemon. I'm going to Flare Blitz the shit out of it, dude. I don't care. You got a Magnezone? Oh, that's just asking to get Flare Blitz, dude. You're probably going to have Sturdy, right? Magnuson might be faster than me. He's not. You're dead. You're dead and I win. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, GG's, dude. But does Darunia live? No, I'm sorry, Darunia. I miscalculated, but you gave it all for that victory. And uh, you're just the best, Darunia. You're like, you're, you're awesome, Darunia. I respect you so much. I'm shocked you beat me. Really? Is that shocking? Nice job. You're definitely one strong trainer. Dang, look at the rain. It's like going sideways here. It's pretty windy up at the summit, I imagine. Here, take this. True way, no badge. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Here, have this TM too. Oh, thunder. Thank you. Thank you very much, Watt. That TM contains thunder. Use it to destroy your foes with a huge electrical blast. Well done, Camu. You have all three badges. Go back to the Triada headquarters and talk to Sierra to complete the trial. Yes. Let's go. I'm just going to do it right now. Screw it. I mean, I'm not going to leave you waiting. My whole team's all beat up. But I'm going to head back to the headquarters and talk to Sierra right now. I completed the challenge, Sierra. I completed it. Real quick, I'm going to save. And then I'm also going to open up my uh, trainer cards. We can see all three badges. Yeah, look, there they are. You got your red and your blue and your yellow. I got all three, baby. I got all three. Sierra, I did it. Hey, cool. It just warped me right to him. Well done, Camu. You've completed the summit trials. See, the reason they warped me to him is because you can enter this room from four directions. So I was like, screw it. Let's just make it so that way you warp right to the center and you're facing up so we don't have to deal with handling all four directions. Anyway, you've completed the summit trials. There's only one last thing for you to do now. Come meet me in the Champion Lodge in Route 7 so I can enter your name into the Hall of Fame. I'll see you there, Camu. And then he just disappears. Sierra... Oh, okay, so I gotta go to Route 7 and go to the Champion's Lodge. But this playthrough is almost done, dude. I've, I've had a blast so far, going through all the puzzles. It's been really fun. So I just need to go over here now. 
I guess I'll fly to the safari zone, and then I'll heal up, and then I'll end the episode. And then in the next episode, oh, excuse me, I gotta sneeze. <coughs> that was poor timing, man. God dang. Anyway, in the next episode, I guess uh, we'll figure out how to get my name in the Hall of Fame, and then this playthrough will be done. God dang, this has been pretty fun, though. There's a lot of post-game secrets, but I don't know how much I want to explore them in this playthrough. All you'll know, all I want to say is, uh, there's plenty of stuff to do on the island after you beat the story. A lot of stuff to explore. And maybe we'll explore a little bit of it in the next episode. We'll see. Until next time, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have a good one. <laughs>